Welcome back to day two of Vlogmas. It is December 2nd and I am going to take you guys along today and share with you a absolutely delicious tried and true sugar cookie recipe that we use all the time. It is our go-to um, whether you're at a high elevation, a low elevation, you don't have to change anything. Um, this recipe works perfectly as is um, for both um, high and low elevations. So I'm going to take you guys along and share with you how to make this delicious sugar cookie recipe. I'm also going to share with you some fun um, ideas and ways that you can decorate these cookies um, toward the end of the video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, you're going to need four cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two sticks of salted softened butter. I didn't have time to soften to room temperature, so I just nuked it in the microwave for a couple seconds. Three large eggs, one teaspoon vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and four teaspoons of baking powder. Let's go ahead and get this mixed together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cream together our butter and sugar. So I'm just gonna get this butter out of here. and add in our sugar. I got my paddle attachment on and I am going to go ahead and mix this on medium speed for about a minute. Okay, when that is creamed together, I'm going to go ahead and add in our three large eggs and our teaspoon of vanilla and mix that for an additional couple, maybe 30 seconds. Once that is combined, I am going to take our four teaspoons of baking powder and I'm going to take our salt and give it a good whisk into the flour. And once you have that all whisked up together, you're going to just go ahead and add it into your liquid ingredients all at once. You could take your time and do it in increments, but I like to just get it all dumped in there all at once. It turns out totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and lift this and mix it for, well, actually until it's corp incorporated for a couple seconds. Okay, I am going to lightly flour a clean surface. So I washed my hands, washed my counter. And we're going to go ahead and take this dough out. And I just like to kind of shape it into a ball. And then we are going to roll it out to about an eighth of an inch. And that's about how thin I do it.
Okay, so I got the cookies on the tray. I don't worry about spacing them out too much. These sugar cookies don't really spread out. They rise a little bit and puff up a little bit, but they do not spread out much. So you're going to want to put them in a 350 degree oven for about seven to 10 minutes. I usually pull mine at nine minutes and I'll bring you back when they're out of the oven. Okay, so these just got out of the oven. It was exactly nine minutes. And like I said, they don't spread out really. They don't lose their shape too much at all um, compared to other ones I've used in the past, other recipes. But this is pretty much what they are going to look like. So I'm gonna let these cool and go ahead and put my second batch onto the cookie tray. But these only took nine minutes. Okay, you guys, so the next thing we're going to do is make up our icing. Um, so I always double my icing when I'm doing sugar cookies just because I go into detail um, with the decorating. So I always need extra. So what I have here is four cups of sifted powdered sugar. This is the doubled amount. And then I also have two tablespoons of light corn syrup. We're gonna get that all incorporated. My tablespoon is in the dishwasher, so. I, you know, and I always eyeball the milk because sometimes it's just too thick. Um, but because I'm doubling this, I'll need two to six tablespoons of milk. So I'm just going to do four tablespoons right off the bat. And I'll just add more milk to my desired consistency. And then I have in here, oop, wrong one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't see it and I knocked it over with my sleeve. So in here, I now have half a teaspoon of almond extract. You can use vanilla. I absolutely love the almond taste. Um, and there's vanilla in the sugar cookie, so it's a nice compliment having the almond extract. And I'm just going to get this mixed up. I did also want to tell you this was a regular batch that I made. I did not double the cookies, um, and it made 43 cookies. So depending on the size cookie cutter that you use, it'll make... It'll make a good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and hand mix this and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Now, just so you guys know, um, adding the milk really comes down to what desired consistency you're trying to achieve. For me, I'm decorating um, my cookies. I never do um, what's called flooding when you do the outline of your sugar cookie to kind of hold in the icing on the inside. I really never do that um, because this icing really holds up beautifully and um, I just feel it's not necessary. But if you did want to do that, you would just make a thicker icing um, and then you would make a thinner icing to go inside of that filling. But this is about the consistency. See how it's like slowly going off the spatula here? Like if I were to hold it like that, it's not really, it's not really just dripping right off. So it's, thick enough for me to do the decorating, um, but it's also thin enough to where I can spread it out um, as I need to. Now, when doing these cookies, I already kind of know what colors I'm going to want to have. Um, so when I mix my colors to separate the icing into the containers, um, I'm going to want sky blue, I'm going to want green, I'm going to want red, and I'm going to want white. And that's why I only went with three shapes. I did the Christmas trees, the snowflakes, and the stockings. That way I don't have to go too overboard with the icing. And I'm going to go ahead and just divide it up into the stars. Okay, so I got my four colors that I want. Um, I did keep the red and the white a smaller amount just because those are for the Christmas stockings and such small amount of the cookie actually needs icing. Um, but I will say, once again, I've, I mentioned this, I think, in one other video. I absolutely love, you know, I've done custom birthday cakes for my kids for years. Um, and I absolutely got to say, I love the Maricolor um, dye. I'm, this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just letting you know because literally all you need is one drop. And I accidentally put two drops in and this is how dark it is. It's such a vibrant color and as it sits, 
it darkens and the color intensifies. So it doesn't look dark at first, but like it, and it doesn't even look dark here because I got my, my tripod light on, but it is, it's dark. It's a very dark color. Um, it's going to look brighter with the, with the light on it. But anyway, so that's what I do. I just mix them up in little eight ounce mason jars. Now you can do a Ziploc bag. I have probably a hundred of these. Um, and it's just on bulk on Amazon. I buy the piping bags. This is my trick to fill in the bag. Um, I just use a regular pint size mason jar and I pull this down past the bottom. I actually never even pay attention to how far I pull it down, but basically a good amount where you can just grab it and it's not going to get all over the place. So I don't cut the tip and I don't even put tips on. I have tons of tips that you can use for icing. I don't get that specific. Um, I just usually snip a little hole in the bottom of this and go from there, but you can use tips if you want to. Um, so I'm just going to get every single bit that I can out of here and we'll start with this, but I just want to show you, um, in case you don't know this, um, you could do the same with a Ziploc bag too. just kind of open it up and put the excess of the bag over the outside of the jar and I'll go get a spatula. And then when I'm done, I just pull this up so it's not covered in icing. And as you can see, this is why I double. I doubled the icing. This is how much green color I have. And no, that's like excess that I just squeezed up there. So it's filled to about here with icing. So yeah, definitely I would stick to what I did and double the icing if you do want to do this. Um, and then I know I have kid scissors because somebody, all my scissors are missing on this floor. I don't know. So anyway, I will just, when I'm ready, tip or clip the tiniest little bit of an opening here, you know, so it's not oozing out, but also so it's not so hard to squeeze. Um, but I will do that after I finish filling up the rest of these bags. Okay, now I got a few cookies here just to kind of demonstrate and show you a little idea of what you can do. Um, I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of that tip off and what I'm going to do first is just outline the cookie with the icing. Actually, that's not big enough. <laughs> okay. Always go a little bit because you can go bigger, but if you go too big, you cannot go smaller unless you change your whole bag and that would be a mess. So I'm just going to outline the cookie and once you have it outlined I just go ahead and squeeze not a ton but just a good amount in the middle and this is not really that fancy but <laughs> there's other ways you could do this but I this is the way I do it for me and it works and then I just take a butter knife or the back of a spoon oh my goodness that gust of wind it was pretty intense like they said it can be up to like 90 mile an hour gusts so the crazy mountain winds are back <laughs> I'm going to just add a little bit more to that. Now, I do want to say the one thing I love about this um, icing recipe, this will harden beautifully. Like, you can stack cookies, you can tap on it, you can do whatever. It's not going to leave a dent. Obviously, wait till it's fully dry. Um, you know, don't let it sit for 20 minutes and then come back. But this, it, it, I just love it. I absolutely love it. It, it just hardens up beautifully a nice glossy look any little bumps you see right now during this process are going to kind of just naturally settle on their own I'm trying to angle it at you guys but be able to do what I'm doing which is not that easy um anyway that's all I do is I just kind of spread it out fill it up to that outline and then I'm going to let this sit for a, for at least at least 10 minutes before I do the next phase for these. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these trees filled in real quick. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> I was talking and I'm like, I think my battery died and it did. Um, I did not charge it. I came straight home from training today and just jumped on here to do this video and didn't realize how low my battery was. So oops, <laughs> but anyway, 
I also want to mention, I started using the butter knife and I'm like, no, that's not usually what I do. Um, I use the back of the spoon of the icing spoon that I scooped the icing out into, um, into the piping bag. So I just use the same spoon and like I said, just spread it out. It doesn't ooze off the cookie. It's a nice, beautiful icing that does set up pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, like the ones I, I literally just did that a second ago and it's already pretty much set up. Beautiful, glossy finish. Like I said, it hardens all those little wrinkles in it. You won't even see because it's just going to spread out as it sets. And um, yeah, absolutely perfect. But anyway, I usually have the white icing, um, white icing, no, the white sugar crystals like this, the coarser ones. And I do like to use that. Um, where'd my spoon go? I don't know where it went. <laughs> um, I do like to use that when doing like the white part of the stockings because it just gives it a little bit of shine and something extra to it. But you can do that. Um, I don't have any, I'm actually out. I think I used them up all last season. But anyway, that is what the icing looks like. So I, I love this recipe. So I, oh boy. So as it dries, it'll have a nice glossy finish to it. That one I kind of went a little um, scarce on the bottom, but just a beautiful glossy shine to it and it is still setting up So now we're gonna jump into the snowflake cookies And um, I'm just gonna do the same thing. So that's all I do now. You can of course make this fancier I just it's for us. I'm not doing it for anybody else um, and I do like to Make them look nice for our family of course too, but my husband does want to do something tonight to kind of hang out because we have both been very busy and have not had any time for a while just to hang out and kind of have a set time for us. So anyway, I'm just going to fill in the snowflake like this. And then once again, get the spoon that I use to mix up the icing and just spread it around. So once again, I hope you guys give these cookies a try. This is our absolute favorite sugar cookie recipe that we have been doing for ages. And um, it's definitely on the list for baking cookies this this time of year. Um, I brought some to the fire station for training and everybody loved them. I gift these to our neighbors every year and everybody, everybody loves them. I've never heard anybody say otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of come in here with the trees. Now there's all different sorts of things you can do with these. Sometimes as I set the icing, I sprinkle like some little sprinkles on. As you can see, it's been sitting maybe, maybe five minutes. You can't even see my fingerprint on it um, at all. So it's, it's set up enough for me to do the next step. So what I like to do with the trees is just do like a little bit of a garland style look to it. You can do whatever you want at this point. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, <laughs> obviously. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take some sprinkles. Like right here I have red, white, and green. And I just keep a little bowl under it to kind of catch the extras because there's a lot of extras and see it just literally slides right off, does not stick to the green. It's It's been five minutes. Um, yeah, so that is what it will look like. Um, this is where I also use like my gold sprinkles. Um, that'll probably look a little more realistic like garland that you see or the tinsel, no, not tinsel, that's the garland. 
tinsels the long stuff, right? Um, there we go. So that is it. Super simple. Doesn't take, this took me no time at all. I've literally, I'm already icing these and it, it really has been no time at all. Um, in the kitchen since I since I got home I jumped right into this video for you guys because I need to get this up tonight because I know a lot of people for vlogmas pre-record videos like weeks even days in advance and just schedule them I'm not doing that I'm actually doing the vlogmas the day of because I was not that prepared I'm doing <laughs> doing hazmat and I gotta study and read a lot so a lot of my time's been going to that so I did not have a whole lot of time to uh, record Vlogmas. So it is literally December 2nd right now and I'm trying to get this video up tonight for you guys. Um, so see, there you go. Just a little bit of a festive look to it. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, for these, um, if I had a finer tip, you could write um, your kid's name on them. You could just put an initial. Like I said, when I have the white crystallized sugar, it looks really, really pretty. Just, you know, putting the white icing on and immediately following with the sprinkles so they stick. That looks really cute. Um, I don't know how big my tip is here that I cut. Hopefully not too big. Let's go with this one. This looks wider on top. Um, but you could just write out, like I said, you could do one of your kid's initials, like the letter of their name. You can write out, I'm trying to like write and talk at the same time and be neat. Hold on. You can write out their name. And then you'll know that um, nobody else is going to eat their cookie. And <laughs> you'll know who already had their cookie. But okay, like my son Caleb, you can just write out Caleb. Uh, or well, you can write out your kid's name. Um, or initial, that's another cute way of doing it. And then it just, like I said, it sets up great. It doesn't drip or spread out too much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the snowflakes because I think this is one of my favorite ones to decorate. And all I do for the snowflake, I'm trying to get you guys zoomed in better, but I don't think it's going to. You can you can do whatever you want, but this is something that I do. I just have the lines going through point to point. And then I make like two. Now this tip's bigger, of course, on this white icing bag. So I'm going to try and do it quickly because I cut it a little too big. Um, I forgot I do this. <laughs> I, I cut it wide for the stocking top. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, this is my uh, snowflake decoration. Um, so that's all I do is just like make two little V's basically on the line. And it looks cute. You can put sprinkles on this. Once again, if I had the white sugar the white sugar crystals I would just be putting it on immediately after this because the blue is literally dry enough and then that adds a really pretty sparkle like a snowflake um but there you go that's an idea you can you can do whatever you want at this point I just wanted to kind of give you guys some ideas you know if you have similar um shapes for your cookie cutters but there's all sorts of different things you can do. The main point of this video is just to share with you guys an absolutely amazing sugar cookie recipe. And my the only way that I make my icing for sugar cookies just because it dries so beautifully, it's shiny, it sets up really nice, and it's just it's hard once it's dry. And yeah, you, you can't really mess your cookies up. So they're perfect for gift giving this time of year. Um, or bringing to work or, you know, sharing with employees. So that is it, guys. I'm just going to wrap this one up. All right, you guys, I have a whole lot more cookies <laughs> to go ahead and get decorated up for us. All right, you guys, now I've got to finish icing these cookies and try and get this video uploaded for you guys, but I hope you give this recipe a try. It is the perfect sugar cookie for this Christmas season for you guys to make for your family, Christmas Eve for gift giving, and I really hope you guys give it a try. And if you do, leave it down in the comments below, come back to the video, and let me know your thoughts, um, whether they're critical or they're you know positive. I've had a couple people come back um, throughout different recipe videos and actually post feedback 
And I love that. I absolutely love hearing what you guys think because our family may love it and enjoy it, but my hopes is that I can give you guys different ideas and different recipes for you guys to get to enjoy with your family. And it makes me so happy when people actually stop and take the time to comment back and let me know that that really just makes my heart happy um, because that's why I'm posting the recipe videos um, to share them with you guys. So I love hearing that you guys are using them and enjoying them. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video tomorrow for Vlogmas day three. Feel free to put down in the comments below your favorite type of cookie this year um, or a certain type of Christmas treat that you guys would like to see me do a video on. Um, during the vlogmas if there's any recipes that you guys want to know um, Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you do feel free to hit the like button and also if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed um, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification So you don't miss the next videos that are coming out which is going to be daily for the month of December. Um, I will be sure of that this year. So anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys are staying warm and enjoying your holiday season. Uh, take care and God bless. Just to share with you guys, <laughs> we have like absolute crazy winds right now. Um, <laughs> they're supposed to get to like 80 to 90 mile per hour wind tonight. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to end up having a power outage for sure, but the winds are ripping. It's not like oozing off the side of the... Oh, I hope you can see. I'm like, how far down do I... Ah, have you. I, I love this recipe. So I got the trees done. The trees were already done. Oh boy.